Hello, friends, and welcome again to another Street Fighter Duel video. So, a new fighter have been added to the game, and it's one of the good units that actually exist right now. I will talk why and how is he incredible with what he does. I read his skills quickly. I didn't expect them to create a new unit and drop him in the game. I didn't know that he existed in other versions of the game. And it's a king of wrestling, Hugo. Hugo the king, if you can call him like that. Let's go and check his skills. And I tell you from now, he's a must-have unit. At least one copy because he works at A rank. So let's go and check him out in the gallery. And we're gonna go and summon for his one copy at least. He looks absolutely sick. He looks like a WWE character, which is one of my favorite TV shows of time. So let's go and talk about him. He's a tank infernal class and he is a power class, which is really great because it gives him this beefy, chunky health that he needs. So let's talk about his super first of all. And it's an AOE skills, which always helps. AOE skills are always good to have. Throw a bench, dealing damage equal to 442% of attack to enemies in small area. Also gain damage reduction boost times 12 times wrestling champion. So he protects himself with damage reduction, which is absolutely fantastic. Now, I'm not so fond of damage reduction since also Balor gains damage reduction, but he can't survive that much. But his damage reduction does not scale as Hugo scales. We'll be talking about that soon. So at level 2 gain damage reduction boost times 15 from wrestling champion and grant all friendly fighters the damage reduction boost times 15 wrestling champion which is absolutely crazy it means all your units will survive or all your team members will survive now this requires you and recommends you to use his super now let's go and check his passive his passive the wrestling champion so upon being hit by a melee attack, increase damage reduction by 3% for 4 seconds. Now 4 seconds does not seem a long, but if you get hit multiple times quickly immediately, especially if you're fighting units like Chun-Li that hits a lot, you will accumulate this more and more because it stacks up to 30 times, which is absolutely fantastic. Also reduces the range damage received by Wrestling Hugo by 50%. So 50% of the damage taken by ranged attacks will be removed, which is make him a little bit more consistent versus the team lineups that you're fighting. Increased damage reduction by, uh, boost by 4%, it's no longer 3%. Reduces the range damage received by Wrestling Hugo by 60%, so he protects himself against range even more. Increased damage reduction boost to 5%, no longer 3%, it goes up to 5% times 30 times which is absolutely fantastic now reduces the range damage to 65 percent if you have unlocked his crazy potato to three stars which we have or you can have as free to play because crazy potato is one of the skills that you can obtain as free to play and farm it idling the game now let's talk about his c1 and the most important talent for him which is the titan fist i'll be talking about this and explain it why and here where he shines and you can use him in tag position as a buffer with his c1 as uh, one copy, a copy, and that's it. You don't need even more than that. <clears throat> Let's talk about him. So, strikes an enemy with a heavy hit, dealing damage equal to 576% of attack, decent damage. Also, inspire other friendly fighters, increasing their attack by 20% for 8 seconds. Absolutely phenomenal. This one is what you need to focus on, the increasing in 20%, which goes to 25% on level 2, increase the boost attack to friendly fighters by 25%. Also grant all other fighters the damage reduction boost times 10x uh, wrestling champion. That means he doesn't only buff your attack, but he buff your de uh, defense with the damage reduction, so he will take less damage times 10 times, which is absolutely phenomenal, as we said. His, uh, his damage reduction grows and grows more and he can keep that up for you and it goes up to 8 seconds. So 8 seconds of damage reduction and if you go more by more you stack it even more until the time goes off which is absolutely crazy. 8 seconds is a lot. So I recommend if you want a buffer, a good buffer for a C1 because you're lacking C1s on your lineups, you can use Hugo and you can use him at A copy. Now if you have him built, you can put him on her, your main lineup because her pass, his passives will also affect your lineup with damage reduction and he will survive a lot. Now his C2 and it's the giant chariot. So charge forward like a chariot, dealing damage equal to 331% of attack to all enemies in the way. Nice AOE skill. 
while charging gains super armor and immunity control immunity so he will be control immune to every kind of uh, control that you have like freeze charm stuns anything else which is absolutely nice and he will gain super armor it means he can't be interrupted by interruption skills not stun skills there's interruption skills and there's inter uh, that there's stun skills so he'll be completely immune from that so Upon gaining the damage reduction boost from a total of 10 wrestling champion, increase the damage bonus of this skill by 10% stacking up to 100%, which is good actually and it will add more damage to him. I'm really hyped to test him and check his damages as a tank. Nobody as a tank did as Fashion Blanca so far or as Rich Honda. They deal a lot of damage, especially uh, uh, Fashion Blanca with fire teams and Rich Honda because he reduces the damage uh, or uh, removes the damage reduction from the enemy and get them to the negative zone so they take even more damages. So for every enemy hit, gain the damage reduction boost from th seven times wrestling champion, which is absolutely fantastic. Let's go and check his fighting spirit, the wrestling mask. So wrestling imperator, upon gaining the damage reduction boost from the wrestling champion passive, also grant a random fighter, a friendly fighter, one wrestling champion, which is absolutely good. Wrestling champion will help you a lot with damage reduction. And his assist at plus five. So, when the assisted fighter takes ranged damage, increase their damage reduction by 25% for 6 seconds. Not the best, but it's situational and help you against ranged fighters or ranged uh, enemies. Something like Rose, something like uh, uh, all the poisons that you're gonna go and uh, fight. Like Poison, she has uh, the first skill, it's ranged. Uh, three Poison, the first skill and the second skill and her super. Yeah, all of them. So. Plus 10, upon gaining damage reduction boost from a total of 25 wrestling champion, recover 50% of max HP triggers one time per battle, all the battle. Boost gained uh, while in tag position do not count towards total. So in tag position, this one will not affect him that much as if you have him on the main lineup, which is absolutely understandable. At plus 20, 20, upon gaining the damage reduction boost from wrestling champion uh, passive, also grant random friendly fighter wrestling champion one time, triggers one second. So every one second you can trigger it, which is absolutely fantastic. This will buff your team so much, they will not be uh, killable that easy. At plus 30, after gaining the damage reduction boost from a total of 35 wrestling champion, and upon receiving fatal damage, for the first time, gain damage immunity for 5 seconds, recover 50% of max HP, triggers one time per battle, boost gained while in tag position do not count towards the total. So it doesn't work in tag position, but it works on the main lineup, which will give him damage immunity, but the condition is to go 35 uh, times with wrestling champion and you will recover 50% of your max HP. Absolutely fantastic surviving unit. Let's check his cars. And the 3 out of 3, upon gaining damage reduction boost from uh, the wrestling champion passive, increase attack by 10%, uh, 2%, stacks up to 30 times. Absolutely good. This is also good. Absolutely phenomenal, in my opinion. I think that this is crazy because it's 60%, which is really, really good. Interval time is 1 second, so you can stack it up really quick. So at 6 out of 6, Giant Chariot reduces the damage reduction of enemies hit by 30% for 11 seconds. So he reduces the damage reduction just like the first skill of uh, Rich Honda. Rich Honda does this with his first skill with his super. He does this when he have six out of six, when he hits with his C2, which you can play. I think we can try to play something like Rich Honda and him on the same lineup. Reduces the damage taken and reduces the damage uh, reduction from the enemies until it's zero or in the negatives and use uh, fire Aidon and uh, street poison for buffing and dealing damage which will be a nice thing to test now let's go and summon at least one copy of him this is what i want i just want to summon at least one copy of him why do i have her here so here we go i have 60 i have nothing to lose so let's go and skip nothing please give me one copy of him really quick don't let me go all the 60 Okay, let's take a break. Let's go in and and nothing again. One more time. Come on, can we have one copy and that's it? Nothing. Oh wow, I'm gonna get shafted. No, tell me that I'm gonna get a copy right now. Come on, nothing. Okay, okay. So we didn't get him. Absolutely sad. I will keep doing that until I have one copy of him at least. 
He's an absolutely a must-have unit in my opinion. If you want a C1 buffer, just like a Street Poison, not the, like Street Poison, but a little bit as much as she does, especially when we're going to, uh, to uh, four teams, five teams, you, who knows in the future. And yeah, that was it for the video. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. If you didn't, we thank you for watching. And as always, stay frosty. Peace. Time to fly.